a beautiful thing It grows to the quiver of a fife that sings I can take it with the wave of my hand And place it upon my music stand Such a beautiful thing Such a beautiful thing Welcome everybody. How exciting. What a beautiful group and it's so great to, to see everybody I know and some that I don't know yet. Uh, looking forward to sharing and talking and uh, everybody is, uh, we're all brothers and sisters. So I'm happy to be here and uh, when Reverend Tony asked me, thank you Reverend Tony, to be the speaker and I'm here to share from my heart to your heart. And um, after he asked me to be the speaker, it took a few days of meditation to find out what I should be sharing, talking about what is coming to mind. And of course, I uh, went to the Holy Spirit. I asked, I said, divine guidance, show me, tell me, let me see. What is, what is that guidance that's coming through loud and clear uh, to make a difference in, in everybody's lives? Because that's what I'm here for. Uh, so several ideas came through. And then loud and clear, the subject of love and relationships. And since I love dancing and I look at love in a relationship as a dance that's where I came up with this the name of today's talk experience peace joy and harmony in your authentic dance of love for me that made sense and hopefully that speaks to you in the same way if not Whatever speaks to you about love, that loving feeling, uh, that's where I'm going to ask you to go there and have an open mind and share this experience with me. Um, in a course of love, we're reminded that love is all that follows the law of God in your world. All else assumes that but one is denied another. While love cannot be learned nor practiced, there is a practice we must do in order to recognize love's presence. We practice living by the law of love. A law of gain, not loss, and a law that says the more you give, the more you gain. I've been living by the law of love for years and plan to continue it. And whether you're in a relationship already, presently, or if you're desiring a relationship, you know, we're, we're love beings and we do best, I believe, in relationship, in community. And there are a lot of different types of love. So all of this that I'm sharing today, uh, this dance of love and what that might mean can be can be shared in any type of relationship. Now, I know some of you might uh, uh, have a little doubt. Love hasn't been around for a while or just not feeling it. So please, you know, have an open mind. And uh, I like to suggest going into a state, if, you know, right here in this moment where you feel immersed in peace and joy and harmony. There's a vibration going on. There's a field of endless possibilities. And we feel into that. And so the more we can be anchored in or rooted in that state of being, that constant state of feeling love, peace, harmony, being in that state, no matter where we are and what we're doing, um, we draw that, we attract that, we get more of that. It comes from within and it is shared. It is shared love. And so you just have an open mind. 
uh, realizing that we can always ask the Holy Spirit, no matter what, for an answer, for guidance. Uh, it's always available to us. So that's, that's a key uh, to remember. So I want to start with a little short story that I've had personally many, many years of being single. <laughs> I think a lot of you might know that. I haven't been in a relationship in a long time. And, but I continue to be happy in relationship with friends and, and was always, you know, finding the way to be content and feeling love no matter what was going on and knowing and feeling confident that I would be in a loving, caring, sharing relationship again. I just trusted that and knew that. And I continued for several years of being single. And this is after having relationships that didn't work. Let me bring that up. There were some that I thought would last and didn't for different reasons. I always went in full on, dive in head first, and I'm all in. <laughs> and then things happen unexpectedly. And so you can, you know, decide to be single and, oh, I don't trust that uh, that might repeat itself. I don't know if I want to give love another chance. That might sound familiar. People might be living in some sort of fear of giving love a chan chance another time. I don't want to be hurt, experience heartbreak. So some people will keep a loving, caring, sharing, intimate relationship uh, at a distance. Even if it shows up, the possibilities are always around. So one of the things that I continue to do, I was in fear for a long time. <laughs> Can I go there? Uh, so I worked on, for many years, releasing fears, releasing anything that came up from the past. Just absolutely. There's so many wonderful uh, ways to let go and really heal the past relationships. And I think I've spoken about that before. And we'll get into that in more detail later. Um, but for now... I just want to say in prayer, I absolutely went into prayer and meditation and release work and always with confidence and knowing that I am love and loved. I give love. I share love. Immersed in it. And to make a long story short, bring it to today's date, I have found a wonderful, loving, caring, sharing partner. And we're still in the discovery mode, but it's been going great. It's wonderful. It's like a dance. You know, you, you, you learn to uh, step with each other. You're learning how to move with each other. You're learning about each other. And you're learning about yourself with a partner. You watch people on the dance floor, and sometimes it's a beautiful flow of harmony and synchronicity and other times, yeah, it's a little uncomfortable. You might have felt that too. But we do the dance, the dance of life. That's really important to uh, kind of let go of the fears. I think that's the most important thing. So I had to do that. And even in the initial stages of dating where there is doubt would come up from the past. You know, there's that reminds me of that ex. <laughs> he just did something or said something, and it just absolutely reminded me of something I'd been through. What is that a message? Is that a warning? Boy, that ego comes up and and really wants to uh, kind of throw a wrench in things. It seems right the ego showing up. So it's important to. Really listen, listen to the inner voice and to be able to discern what is spirit, the voice of spirit, what is ego. Be able to hear the quiet voice that sometimes uh, it's always there. 
Our divine guidance is always there, but whether we listen to it or not. Uh, there are a lot of lessons that that are being taught through the Course in Miracles uh, of the Holy Spirit. And one of the really important lessons that comes to mind that I want to share is to have peace, teach peace, to learn it. So in everything that we do in the steps and in the getting to know, in the, uh, the courtship, in relationship, and if you're already, that's for new, and if you're already in a relationship, well, maybe a courtship with your husband or wife or a significant other, why not court each other even already being in a relationship? So having peace, confidence, Releasing any judgment, real important. I mean, that's, you know, of course, reminds us all the time about judgment. Uh, the Holy Instant is the only Spirit's, the Holy Spirit's most useful learning device for teaching love's meaning. Its purpose is to suspend judgment entirely. Judgment rests on, always rests in the past. The past experience is the basis on which you judge. Judgment becomes impossible without the past, for without it, you do not understand anything. You would make no attempt to judge because it would be quite apparent to you that you do not understand that any, what anything means. You are afraid of this because you believe that without the ego, all would be chaos. And I assure you that without the ego, all would be love. So there are a lot of ways to release judgment and to love wholeheartedly, openly. And then we can open up and really know authentically who this person is. Is this a good mate? Is this a good partner? Now, what I did is uh, made a list before I met Michael. <laughs> I had a list going on for many years. And in that list, a lot of details because of the relationships that yeah, didn't work out so well. I knew what I didn't want to repeat, and I knew what I'd like to have, that perfect, beautiful ease and grace flowing on the dance floor in life. And so making a list of those qualities is, is huge, and uh, adjusting it and changing it, but staying in that place of knowing love exists, knowing that there is um, a special I say special partner, a one partner um, for each one. We are one. We are love. Now, even though the Holy Spirit knows no one is special, right? Yet he perceives that you made special relationships. Oh, that's good. He knows that we do consider, we do like to, we like to consider someone special, which he would purify and not let you destroy. Well, we can count on the Holy Spirit taking care of everything. We hand it over to the Holy Spirit. However unholy the reason you made them be, right? He can translate them into holiness by removing as much fear as you will let them. So we don't want to hold on that they're so special that nobody else matters. It's not about that. It's about Loving all, we're one, and loving all, and not necessarily one over the other, and yet we we come together. In my in my belief, we come together and share love. And as in in a relationship with couples, as you're dancing, you're in sync, and that loving exchange and that loving. Um, state of being, it just radiates from, you ever notice when somebody's dancing on the floor, it's radiating out from, from the joined hearts to all hearts. So we're in love and in the dance of love, 
the specialness is actually for everyone. It's like not being afraid, releasing, and just be totally immersed in love. And if it's right, it'll be mutual. It'll be known. It'll be mutual. But but we're not going to be in fear that, oh, you know, might not work. Now we're not even going to go there. So it's important to remember to release any fears, release any past relationships, forgive, heal from the past and be open and receptive for that, that love to be shared. And that is part of healing. That is part of the awakening for the whole sonship. You get to experience that love and that dance and that uh, the healing miracles that come through from love, in love. So we're letting go of fear. We're letting go of control. We're letting go of judgment. And and I know in my introduction, um, you know, there's many things that came to mind that I'd like to share, many techniques. And I'm going to have to do that at another time, obviously, because we don't, I don't have a lot of time in this talk. But I think we we're getting enough done with with the the idea of achieving the state of being peace, at peace, in peace, love whole, perfect, and complete. This is who we are. And open to sharing and releasing the idea of love. Get that excitement within and let that attract that same in another. That's part of the healing. That's part of the love. So I'd love to keep going and going, but I know that I can't. <laughs> keep getting the warnings. I don't like to talk over, which I've done in the past. But I think just about everybody is looking for that love or an increased experience of love and companionship and sharing. So think of it as a dance. Know it's possible. It doesn't always seem easy. I hear that from, from several people. It's not easy. But you know what? It's real simple, though. If you let go and, and release and plant the seeds in the creative realm, allow the divine guidance, the Holy Spirit, right from God, the creative realm of mind, there is this wonderful, we're, we're immersed in this field of, of vibrations and, and intelligence, and all our thoughts go into that and everything comes back as we are feeling into, speaking into, thinking into. So as I did and continue to do for several years, that feeling of love and being in love and sharing with somebody and acting as, just like with, then I met Michael and it's just beautiful. You know, there's just times of the, uh, he'll grab my hand as we're walking we're walking along the beach or we're going out. He always grabs for the hand like you're grabbing to dance. Takes my hand and we start dancing. I'm cooking in the kitchen and and all of a sudden he'll come up behind me to see what I'm cooking and take me and we dance in the kitchen. And it's it's beautiful and it's fun and it's free and and I it it's pretty simple. And it can be easy, it doesn't have to be difficult. So, you know, think about it. Um, and I hope to maybe have some workshops, classes on how to release and let go of past and um, forgive and learn to love again, learn to experience a, another higher level, a higher vibration of love. It's possible. It absolutely is. Be love now. Feel it. Be it. Because that's what we are. And call forth that sharing, open and receptive. So my wish for you is that your next dance of love be in peace, joy, harmony. And let it begin now. Let that dance begin now. Love you all.
flower is a beautiful thing. It grows to the quiver of a fife that sings. I can take it with the wave of my hand and place it upon my music stand. Such a beautiful thing. Such a beautiful. 